During World War II, precise bombing was a major challenge for bomber fleets, facing issues such as enemy fighter and anti-aircraft counterattacks, harsh weather, and outdated targeting methods. In order to solve this problem, countries such as the United Kingdom and the United States developed their own ground mapping radar. One successful model used in the B-17 strategic bomber was the N-APS-15. The N-APS-15, also known as H-2X and nicknamed Mickey, was based on the British H-2S airborne radar. The H-2S was developed in 1941 and put into use in 1943. Early models were slightly lacking in technology, suitable for flight navigation but not reliable for scanning city targets, making it unsuitable for nighttime bombing. The main task of the N-APS-15 was to guide bombing missions, and it could also perform secondary tasks such as navigation and target search. This radar equipment included five main parts, a transmitter, rotating antenna, radar display, relay, and related control unit. On the large B-17 bomber, the radar antenna and related rotating equipment were installed in a plastic antenna cover on the underside of the aircraft. The antenna rotated 20 times per minute, using X-band radar with a working frequency of 10 GHz and a wavelength of 3 cm. The azimuth angle was about 3 degrees, and the antenna was aligned a few degrees below the horizontal line to scan the terrain below. Inside the midsection of the aircraft, radar operators were deployed with related displays. Operators could adjust the radar scanning distance as needed, with four options, 5 miles, 20 miles, 50 miles, and 100 miles. When using the 5 or 20 mile scan, the original display mode was narrow, allowing operators to zoom in for better observation. Radar operators also had other auxiliary functions, such as antenna tilt, controlled by an electric device to tilt the antenna within a range of 20 degrees above and below the horizontal line, automatic azimuth stabilization, manual or automatic sector scanning, altitude measurement, and distance measurement. These functions greatly enriched the operational capabilities of the N-APS-15. For example, its distance measurement accuracy error was 150 meters, which was impressive at the time. It could be used to measure the distance to bombing targets and scan for enemy interceptor aircraft, providing a certain degree of airborne early warning. Via a delay selection function, the radar's maximum detection range could be extended to 200 miles. However, targets beyond 100 miles would not be clearly displayed on the screen, but would show on the outer marginal line of the display. Operators could determine the general direction. Operators could also use the radar to determine the flight altitude of aircraft at altitudes between 300 and 11,000 meters, with an error of less than 100 meters. The N-APS-15 radar could display different objects such as the sea, cities, and islands quite clearly. It was an early successful ground mapping radar, beneficial for nighttime or foggy weather bombing. The radar scan of Tokyo Bay, shown in the image below, demonstrates its precise terrain display capabilities when compared to the modern map of Tokyo Bay. The N-APS-15 was deployed in the later stages of World War II, with some B-17 bombers carrying the radar to lead bombing formations. The B-29 bomber also had this radar installed. The British also installed the radar on the twin-engine Mosquito fighter, intending to use it for aerial reconnaissance to capture radar images, creating some radar image maps for aerial bombing. However, due to the small size of the Mosquito fighter and electronic equipment overload, it frequently malfunctioned and failed during use. Overall, the N-APS-15 was a very successful high-tech radar at the time. It not only solved problems with bomber navigation, but also demonstrated the potential value of airborne radar reconnaissance and electronic early warning. After World War II, with rapid advances in electronic technology, the N-APS-15 quickly became obsolete, and some of the radars were modified to serve as storm warning radars.